Good evening from Masqat. It's me, Noor. Earlier this evening, the first part of the Aachen Music Awards was held right here in the Opera House. It was a spectacular evening. The event was attended by Prince Amin, Princess Zahra, and Prince Hussein, accompanied by his wife, Princess Farin. They were joined by His Highness Sayyid Kamil bin Fahd bin Mahmoud Al Sayyid, Oman's Secretary General and the Secretary General of the Council of Ministers, and Dr. Jamal Hassan Al Musawi, Director of the National Museum. <laughs> Feirouz Nishanova, director of the Aachen Music Program, explained the background to the awards. By joining us here this evening, you are also joining this musical fellowship, this family that we have created. And the creation of this ever-growing community is one of the most important and gratifying outcomes of the Aga Khan Music Awards and the program. At the root of this community is the key idea of pluralism, which His Highness the Aga Khan has repeatedly underscored as a fundamental condition for a peaceful and prosperous world. And tonight, as you take in these diverse musical languages in which our winners and laureates express themselves, I hope that you will agree that the Music Awards Master Jury has done a superb, incredible job of selecting winners who are outstanding artists in their own right, while also collectively representing the cultural diversity of Muslim musical heritage in its contemporary forms. The first performances by laureates brought together sounds from around the globe with artists from India, Tanzania, Mali and Mauritania. <laughs> In his speech, Dr. Jamal Hassan Al Musawi, director of the National Museum here in Masqat, spoke about the power of music. تأتي استضافة سلطنة عمان لجوائز الآغا خان للموسيقى في نسختها الثانية في إطار مد جسور التواصل والصلات بين مختلف شعوب العالم وتعزيز التعاون المشترك عبر تفعيل قنوات التواصل الثقافي على كافة مستوياتها الرسمية والمجتمعية إن للموسيقى لغة عالمية يتحدثها جميع البشر ويفهمها الجميع دون عناء أو مشقة بها تتوحد الشعوب وتتمازج بها أسس الحوار الحضاري والتي نسعى من خلالها لإبراز دور سلطنة عمان ومفرداتها الموسيقية العمانية وما تتميز به من تنوع وأنماط معرفية وحضارية ثرية. Prince Amin presented a Lifetime Achievement Award to the famous Indian musician Zakir Hussain. Zakir Hussain was then joined by the Royal Oman Symphony Orchestra in a breathtaking performance. <laughs>
In his address, Prince Amin spoke of his belief in the importance of a global pluralistic sound. These laureates also demonstrate that there is no inherent contradiction between what I've called a global pluralistic sound and the celebration of local cultural identities. On the contrary, they are mutually enhancing. Exposure to different ways of making music and thinking about music represents a form of enlightenment. Being challenged to compose or improvise music that incorporates new musical languages and different kinds of instruments and performance techniques requires that musicians be creatively nimble and flexible and that they be willing to find new ways of expressing our shared emotions and essentially similar dreams and experiences. It was incredible to see so many talented musicians under one roof, and this was only night one. In the next episode of the Ismaili Update, I will bring you highlights from the prize-giving ceremony of the Al Khan Music Awards and the seminar for the Al Khan Award for Architecture. Until then, ma'as salama. Thank you.